Aloha and welcome to week 10. The rest of the semester will be focusing on your research project, which involves writing a research paper and completing an annotated bibliography. This week we are going to just talk about the different parts of the assignment to the research paper and the annotated bibliography while you finish up writing essay number three. Let's take a look at the research paper assignment itself. I have some information about a research paper, which basically is an expanded essay that presents your own interpretation or evaluation of an argument, because for our purposes, we are writing an argumentative research paper. For this assignment, I would like for you to use the same topic that you wrote about for essay number three. That way you already have a jump start on this assignment because this assignment will consist of seven to 10 pages, which might sound overwhelming. However, because you already have a jump start with essay number three, you're going to expand what you wrote for essay number three into a longer, more researched research paper. So taking essay number three, again, you're going to expand your ideas for essay number three into a longer full-length research paper. You may find that you'll need to adjust your thesis and some of your support based on your research, or you might not. It just depends on what you uncover as you research. For the conclusion of your research paper, please write a one-page conclusion that offers a solution or a call to action regarding your topic. So that again, this is your topic for essay number three. The guidelines for the research paper include MLA format, seven to 10 pages, and a minimum of seven sources. All the sources must be reliable, and please refer back to week six lesson about evaluating sources if you have any questions about choosing reliable sources. The sources do not have to come from the library. However, please refer back to the library resources assignment and hopefully you're able to use some of those sources for this assignment. You need to have one source from an academic journal article and you may have up to two interviews and that's a, a personal interview. Keep in mind, however, that the interviewees must be subject matter experts in the subject related to your topic. You also need to include at least one direct quote and or a paraphrase from each of your seven sources. And in this, you have to have at least one paraphrase. So you can have all direct quotes for the other sources, but you need to include at least one paraphrase. And you also need to include, of course, a works cited page. The works cited page will be just like we've done all semester long, where you only have the source information included in your paper for sources that you directly quote or paraphrase. Anything that you refer to, any source that you refer to that you don't either quote or paraphrase, you do not need to include in your works cited page. You may also click here for a link to the rubric to review how I will be specifically grading your research paper. The second part to the research assignment is the annotated bibliography. This consists of the seven minimum sources that you will be using in your research paper. For these seven sources, you will create an annotated bibliography using MLA, 8th edition, putting the entries into alphabetical order. You begin each entry with citation information for the source that you're going to summarize, and then you're going to summarize briefly about four to eight sentences, a short paragraph, your source. So after the citation information, you'll have a brief summary of the source, which includes the controlling or main idea, major supporting details, you do not need to include minor details, and how the information in the source relates to your research. 
I have a separate lesson devoted just to the annotated bibliography assignment, but I wanted to introduce it to you now so you can start thinking about this separate assignment. And also I will show you the sample annotated bibliography so you get an idea about how this looks. So it's set up MLA format like the papers you've been writing. The title is Annotated Bibliography. Here is the source information. This is what you would include again in the Works Cited page. This is different, however, because now you have the summary of your source and then you include at the end how this information relates specifically to your research paper or your research topic. Getting back to the research paper, the research paper will consist of different steps or stages before you turn in the completed research paper. The first step will to be com to complete a topic proposal. And this is for next week, but just to give you an idea about what this looks like. And again, you're using your topic from essay number three. After you turn in the topic proposal, you'll write a first draft, then you will write a second draft, and then you will write your final draft. If you have any questions, about the research paper, any assignments related to the research paper, or the annotated bibliography, please let me know. I'm happy to set up individual appointments with you to meet via Zoom to help you work on your research paper or your annotated bibliography. And just know that I am here to help you along the way complete these final assignments and successfully make it through this class. Thank you.